so far we've only done text inputs. What if you have a different type of input uh, that's just like a binary response? Do you agree to the terms yes or no? Uh, how do we take that and kind of apply these same principles? How do we work with formic and yep to do that? So what we're going to do is actually use a switch component to implement a agree with terms field for our input here. So just like we did with the styled input, what I'm going to do is just out of time create a, uh, we'll just call this styled switch, even though we're really not styling it. And we'll just go ahead and create something very, very similar. So with that in mind, we're going to have a formic key. We'll have formic props. We'll have a label. And then we'll go ahead and get the rest of our uh, props that are being passed to it. So what I'll go ahead and do is just copy all of this stuff um, because you know we want to keep the same pattern. We want to have the label. Only thing we're going to change is the text input here. And basically, what's going to happen here uh, with the switch? We're going to set a value, and our value should be formic props dot values at formic key. So you can see we can access the values in real time, uh, just like we can with touched and errors above. And then the next prop for our switch is on value change. And that'll give us the value, which is, or it'll give us a function. The argument to that function is the actual value. And again, we can say formic key, or rather formic props dot set field value. And this is a little bit different uh, because it's not a input, Formic isn't familiar with how a form works. Um, or like, so with a text input, it's familiar with that. It kind of knows what to expect with a handle change and the key here. But since we're doing a slightly different input, we need to do it a little bit different here. So what we're going to do is say Formic props dot set field value. We'll then go ahead and pass the key we want to update in our actual values object. And then we want to set the new value for it. And finally, as the last prop to our switch, we're going to go ahead and pass over the rest of the props that are passed to it. We can go ahead and add this in, so we'll get our styled switch, and we can add that below our styled input. And we need to pass our keys. We can say label is equal to agree to terms. We can pass our format key, which we're going to set to agree to terms. And then finally, we'll go ahead and pass on our formic props. And before we actually start using this, let's update our initial values. So we've got our email and password. Agree to terms by default is going to be false. And then we also want to update our validation. And agree to terms is going to be yup dot boolean because it's a true or false value. We're going to give it a label as well, just like the other ones. We're going to fix our syntax error and add that comma after password. And if we actually go and what I'm going to do here, just so we don't have to fill in these fields, um, is comment those out. But if I press submit, you see we're, we're still able to submit this. And that's because we don't have any way to say agree to terms needs to be true. So what we can do to actually test this is add a new case to our uh, yep string of validation. We're going to say dot test. Basically, we want to give this a little name. We'll say is true. And then we need to give it some sort of error message. And we'll say must agree to terms to continue. All right. And then finally, actually, I'm going to save this uh, as a third argument to test, which, as we can see by this error message, is required. Uh, we can go ahead and add a function that's going to give us our value. And basically, inside of this function, we're going to check is the value equal to true? Okay, so that should all be set. Now if I press submit, we can see my poor spelling. Uh, we can see must agree to terms needs to be true to continue. So if I set this to true, submit, it's actually going to work. So that's basically how we can start working with other field types that aren't strings and kind of have that same style, that same, uh, basically same overall look, same validation, everything uh, with field types that aren't strings.